I dream of Gucci and Louis Vuitton Eating tons of food and golfing for fun Expensive shades to block out the sun Glittery nails, long ponytails Can't worry about sales, I got it I'm poor, I'ma change his life I'ma change his life I'ma change his life I'ma change his life Might become his wife Might become his wife, yeah I'm a whole wife I'm a whole Okay, y'all. First, thank y'all for coming. I know everybody's got busy schedules, <clears throat> but this meeting was definitely needed and well overdue. Initially, we reached out to y'all just wanting to start a club. That well, that was my my idea. I wanted to be around other married women. You know, this <clears throat> living life and going through things that can potentially help me with things that I'm going through or dealing with. Or just an outlet to network, mm -hmm. you know, experience different things together, you know, blah, blah, blah. But um, I know that then we turned it into a filming thing. We got away from the club. We didn't even actually give the club a chance. We just kind of went directly into filming, mm -hmm. um, including myself. Like, I just was like, okay, we're going to record. Like you, And then you just lose yourself. You get to thinking, I need my hair done. I need to work. What time we need to do this? What you know? I just didn't even thank club, mm -hmm. so I just just like y'all, I was just kind of going with it, you yeah. know. So I like I said, I know that I already apologized, but I wanted to apologize again. Um, I know too that uh, we can be something powerful for each other, you know what I'm saying? So I think going forward, we need to meet regularly outside of filming, plan mm -hmm. outings, you know, with with and without our husbands, with our kids, without our kids, you know. I just think that that's something. You know we need to do and then i want to touch on filming while i'm talking about that too because i know <clears throat> as the show aired it was things that all of us questioned i know with me like i would watch it and of course you're gonna critique your own stuff so i'm mm -hmm. like dang i wonder why we didn't do this or this don't make sense or we should have you know it was all of that so then episode two comes and we're trying to so each episode we were trying to fix stuff that we you know and we're still working on it and y'all know within this year we've all learned things and we all learning as we go but <clears throat> I think because we weren't having our meetings and we wasn't mm -hmm. meeting outside of production we just got lost with that too you kind of said what I what I wanted to say was hang out more get mm -hmm. to really know each other our right. kids knowing each other yeah. mm -hmm. um, I know I can't remember where I've seen your kids at the Halloween party was uh, it the Halloween party uh, Tia, Fetty Man's birthday party I wasn't there. Yeah. Trey was there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, how? They was like... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It was when we filmed the Breonna Taylor thing. That was the oh, first yeah, time. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's that it. was the yeah. first time. And, like, my kids, when they... Of course, they know Tanisha. Mm -hmm. When they see Trey, they know Trey. But they, they need to know, yeah, you know, right. Trey. Y'all as well. Because my kids, when they watch the show, they, they know y'all by name. <laughs> right, right. Miss Kelly, <laughs> Tanisha, Miss Keys. Like, they know everybody. They... Yeah, so us getting together, getting to know each other, even our kids. Like, if we want this to be a club. We got to make it a club. We got to make it a club. So, Definitely. and I'm glad that's that you why I was disappointed up. with the, because I didn't realize she wasn't in the group text when I did the date night. So, I was just like, what happened? Where's she at? Mm -hmm. So, that's why when I when we talked, I'm like, I didn't know. <laughs> Where have you been, Ariana? Girl, I, hey, I'm not. I'm not savvy with all You didn't realize that I said some money. No, because I was like, who is this? Like, who is this? And then I had to go back. Girl, girl. Girl, I'm like, who is this? And then I had to go back. Girl, I'm like, who is this? 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 Well, y'all, I'm here. Hi, sisters. Hi. I seen one of your sisters yesterday at, uh, she told you. Where? At Birch. Oh, shoot. Where was I at? Bye. Bye. She was out. Yeah, she was what? like, Chastity. Is that where the Julia was? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll catch you up real quick. Yeah. I, we hadn't really did What's much. That? I was just starting it out with again. Right in the middle. Yeah. I did want to network a little with other wives. I don't know. I know that we wasn't so into, you know, expanding the club, but I do, even if it's not that, just uh, events or just brunches or something where we're because we don't want to limit ourselves to 
what's out there. We don't know who can introduce us to what. I have wives that that's not in the club that are realtors that's has businesses, you know what I mean? And and we I talk to them all the time, but I would like to introduce them to y'all because they could potentially have something for y'all that you know, we don't know so and and vice versa. Y'all might know wives that's you know, and I just feel like that that's something that we should you know, consider doing. Yeah, that's still nice. That's but I was going to say, with us being a wives club, I understand we're only the wives, but I feel like we, we're only wives because of our husbands. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know if y'all were up to it or not, but I'm trying, I'm trying to like really multiply this money. I know I told you about Acorn, right. which is mm -hmm. what Tanisha told me about yeah. it, did you? I don't think I told you. Oh, you didn't tell me that. We but didn't tell me that. I could say the money already she, on what you But Tanisha me. actually told me about it like last week sometimes. Yeah. I can't remember. But if we got, you know, like half of what we already paid from our mm -hmm. husbands to put in. If oh, we so have like them pay us oh, yeah. too. Because, I mean, they go out on the outings. They right. do stuff with we them. Could yeah. not, they don't have to do the whole 50. Maybe yeah, they can do $25. Oh, yeah, or even $20. $20. Right. Yeah. $10. Just something we can to wait start that yeah. I mean, yeah. we necessarily don't have to do it right now. We can wait a couple of months and then yeah. say, like, you know, y'all, y'all feet is coming up. Like, y'all eat. No, so I'm saying. You eat. We have our treasurers send them a reminder. My husband was like, what do I got to do? And I was like, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I'll forget that too. I like that idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, because and that'll then, triple it, and then too, like uh, me and West birthday same day, so we. Right, you know what I mean? right. I like that. I'm trying to make sure. I'm, uh, being on time, I I know that I'd be late. I'm working on the job, and I really am sorry. I'm a stress that I'm taking ownership because I fucking work downstairs, <laughs> and I'm late logging on to work, <laughs> and, and it's bad. You know what I mean? Seriously, I'd be thinking like it's bad. I do be late. I'm late to my way. Um, oh my God, Casey! <laughs> I swear I was a whole hour. Oh no! <laughs> he was supposed to already been there. Right? I was there all day. I'm late to everything. I'm late to work every day. Every I'm time, definitely. Whatever. But oh, even like my I don't know. Like, when I didn't work at home, my jobs I would be like walking in the door right at the nick of time, and I think that just mentally that's not good. You know what I'm saying? Shane was just telling me when we talked last that if if you live like it, because I will rush to work. Go home, get my kids, take one to cheerlead, take one to this, take one, go cook dinner, go. If you live like that, you are not mentally giving yourself not enough time. Or For yourself. Not, yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And and when you think about it, when you, what pushes me to be on time is when we are places on time, I can kind of sit and be like, oh, okay, I can fix my lash. Oh, I got, you know, you have the time to, but when you're not, so I'm saying that not just because of, what we're doing, but I just feel like right. it would be better for us overall. And can um, I touch on that too? If you're not able to make an event or meeting or something, could we please get a 24 to 48 hour notice so we can possibly reschedule or um, try to work around that? Because we people yeah. want to see all of us together and we have yet to be all together, really. Right. Other than I think the pool party. So let's try to kind of structure that into what we want to do moving forward. Just give us a notice so we can know and we can plan, you know, ahead. That's all. I was thinking, uh, it doesn't have to be now, or uh, I was thinking like June, July, we do a, like a wife's brunch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Say it like vibes, virtue, wherever, mm -hmm. somewhere. And then, you know, let people come in. We introduce ourselves on a whole nother level. Right. Let people come in. We all dress up nice and... Yeah, we like talked like a meet and greet. Yeah, we like talked about that. Yeah, I think okay. it would be nice because a lot I of people like. I don't think Tanisha really look like it. I don't think mm. your hair is really that. I don't. I'm like, <laughs> I am. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> but I just period, they want to know our personalities, who we are. Yeah, you right. know how the kind of the way motherhood's going, the yeah. way wifehood's going. You know. I agree. That's, that's something that's that we idea. talked about. Yeah, we yeah. talked about that because, again, there's so many wives that we all know that, like, mm -hmm. we know nurse practitioners, mm -hmm. people with business and stuff, they want to, like, introduce themselves. And it's well, a lot of people waiting to get married, mm -hmm. and they want to know, oh, yeah. like, is it worth it? And yeah. I tell mm -hmm. people all the time, it's very worth it, but it, it's hard work. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we need, that's why, too, we should go where it was originated from outside of the club was the podcast. Mm -hmm. Rihanna mm -hmm. reminds me all the time of the all club the time, and the podcast. It was presented to <laughs> us, being yeah. us. Mm -hmm. Like, we're going to do this podcast, we're going to have a panel. Yeah, that's what my husband Wait a minute, I'm going to disagree with. He's like, you're doing all this damn filming and you ain't. Yeah. You said podcast. Yeah. You don't look like no podcast to me. That's what we got away from, too. It's because it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. yeah, because the way it was introduced, mm -hmm. especially by being heard on the news, it was just like, 
it was going to be different from what's already out there. Right, right. So I think that's what we're just falling into. Mm -hmm. And we need to get back to what our original plan We're getting back to it. Right, we are. So, this is what we needed, though. Right. Yeah, this is what we needed. And like I said, yeah. we just kind of follow suit. Um, I was, I, I started that. I was just going to say, um, embrace what we're doing. Like, if you want to do it, which we can start in tonight, if this is what you truly want to do outside of filming is be a part of a club, then a wise club, then embrace it. You know what I mean? Like, own it. Like, when I wake up, I'm pretty much thinking about something for Wise Blue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or something about my kids on my house on my husband, which Wise Blue was my outlet. Mm -hmm. So I don't want it to feel like a job or an obligation. If it's something that you truly want to do and you truly want to be a part of, I feel like we should embrace it and embrace each other. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, we should embrace what it is with each other, not just as a group, but individually. Like mm -hmm. I think with like uh, I know I talked to Wed about this, and uh, I ain't talked to nobody else about. Well, this. don't if you girl address it, just wait so we. Can no, it's not that. Oh, I'm okay. saying like a lot of the times, like because I'm just piggybacking off what you said. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be honest. I was scared to tell people like anything about White's Wool. I'm like, I felt like sometimes you could say. I ain't feeling it, and they'll say this, I don't like the girls no more. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we got to watch what we say to other people if we are talking outside mm -hmm. of Wives of Wolf because right. you never know you how it's going to come back to you. You can't say anything these days. And people are just like, what's going on? I'm like, I just don't feel good right now. And they was like, well, do you got COVID? Yeah. And I'm like, why? <laughs> and I, you know, it's really a situation where if we're a club, we're a club. Right. Yeah. And if we not, let me know today. Exactly. It's that type of exactly. thing. Exactly. Because you really can't say, I mean, with this, with filming and YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, Snapchat, whatever, social media, period, mm -hmm. you got to really watch what you say Absolutely. and how you word stuff. Absolutely. Because mm -hmm. it can be misconstrued. It could be misconstrued. And then it makes us look like we're not what we're we not say we are. We're not, we're not together. We don't have what we, have, what we say we have going exactly. on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was kind of telling Wade, like, mm, we got to really... I just don't We need people. to get tighter. And just people's like, tighter. you're weird now. You used to be asked and you used to say this. And I'm like, I know, but this is kind of different. <laughs> I can't say what I want. I ain't telling you, sis. You're going to find out. Watch the next one. But that's, I don't mean, you know, as far as that moving forward, what I wanted. I wanted to definitely say, again, if this is something that we all want to do individually, then we need to go all the way in. If it's not, uh, then we're just going to walk away. I'm not really trying to sound harsh on none of it. It's just what it is because it's not what it was created for. Mm -hmm. And I do know, and I can't stress enough, that we never really gave the club a chance. We just started filming. But at the same time, like you said, we created bonds. So you know what I mean? Either it's just something we want to do and see where it can take us on a personal level. Of course, filming, we want to see where they can go to. But we wanted a foundation. You know what right. I mean? So. Mm -hmm. I just think, and then even if you're saying I'm happy and I'm happy out and it's something that we need to address and move forward, then I'm, I I think that that's something we need to do too because it's been a year, we locked in, and we need to get shit back rolling. in order so right. we can get rolling. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, pretty want to flip it, you know, positive, embrace everything, embrace each other, be there for each other. Um, and like I said, if, if you don't want to do this, it's, this is not... You're not going to go to jail if you walk away. It's no hard feeling. <laughs> Are you sure? I, <laughs> I'm not one of them where I'm going to... Y'all know I don't be for people. We're either going to try to work it out. We're going to try to move past it. Or I'm just not going to deal with it. Uh, that, I'm just that simple. And where I'm at in my life, my age, and my kids' age, and how much... I'm going to tell y'all, y'all got... Well, you got a teenager, but... The older everybody be like, Your baby's 18, she's gone, she's mm -hmm. at school. The older they get, the harder it gets. Mm -hmm. I don't care about no money. When people say, Oh, they at that age where they want this, 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 I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. Life's always gonna be hard financially. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it's harder the older they get. They oh, deal I with things. Gonna be We're gonna be famous, and I better get the check. I'm gonna yeah, be you know? absolutely. <laughs> but you know, I'm just saying, like, on a personal level, mm -hmm. life's real, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Life's mm -hmm. hard, and to me, it has it's. I told Wet last night, I said, when things are not right with my kids... I'm not okay. I'm not okay. It's like a breakup. I will call my kids back to back like it's a nigga, literally, <laughs> because I it throws my whole shit off. And then if I know that something's not right with them, you know, kids battle depression. Look at the social media, how kids... My kids is at that age where mm -hmm. I'm having to be there for them emotionally, and it can be draining, and it's hard. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm not stepping outside of that, outside of my house, outside of my marriage, and dealing with anything that's uplifting me, I don't want to deal with it. I don't. I've cut out family. 
not not nasty. And I just back off because life's too hard already. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't. Everyday life is fucking hard. We're not going to be happy every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm not dealing with people, like you said, it's a random conversation, a random text, or if I look at your story and it's something that's going to make me die fucking laughing, I just don't want to deal with it. It's just that simple, but um, that's it. I think that's all I have. If anybody think they wanted to say. <laughs> I don't mean, feel like I'm talking for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had a lot. I, I did. did. <laughs> well, what I kind of want to finger point on is just things, you know, uh, moving forward to make sure things. I'm kind of structured in a way. I ain't going to lie. I like things to go a certain way. Maybe it's the Leo in me controlling. But <laughs> I do not like Leo. Well, <laughs> I love you for some reason. I don't get along. <laughs> but moving forward, y'all, these dudes. Let's get them on time. Let's just make sure because I know it's a lot. So let's get them on time. So Rihanna ain't got to constantly ask us. I mean, you asking a grown woman for money. Like, yeah, come on. Like, I don't like you. It. She even asked me, y'all, by the way, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, me too. Me too. She done sent it to me too. And, and, you know, we forget, you know, but let's just try to. You know, get that in order. Let's try to get well, things. Well, so maybe some people can't pay it too. So that's true. Know, that's true. Gotta, you know, yeah. But communicate. Right too. So, you just yeah. communicate. Most, I mean, for the most part, people should communicate. I yeah, know. yeah. But if if, if you can't can get it, then yeah, some people, you know. That's so. true, and I definitely understand because heck, I have financial issues too at times. Well, I and had to say, if uh, I, I can't pay. Now, I yeah. get you when I get paid. I've had, that's easy. I've had paid. several of those. I'm like, no problem, no worries. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, just communicate it. Just for me. I wholeheartedly love all of you guys. I really do. I love your tenacity. I love your spunk. I love your hustle. And it's just like, I just really want us to be all on the same page. Like, we all are giving something of ourselves to get something for ourselves. Right. So, we have to be 100% in. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's sometimes, some days I'm apprehensive about filming. Like, look, this ain't what I signed up for, <laughs> but okay, I will do it. But it's just like, we really need to give it mm -hmm. something. Because it was disappointing that you was, you know, MIA out of the group. Right. And, and we didn't know what was going on. That's what I want to say this. Yeah. When I left the group, I didn't want to be the negative Nancy. I always want to be the positive spirit okay. in the room. At the same time, I'm growing. I'm still maturing. Mm -hmm. I am a little bit, not just, I'm going to say a little bit, <laughs> younger than some of you. And y'all growth may be ahead of mine. Okay. At the same time, I'm on a spiritual journey. And, you know, sometimes a lot of stuff that, like, if you have an issue with something, people, because mm -hmm. people take it as defensive from the old you. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I don't want to speak on something and the people feel like, oh, she feel like because she can fight or she used to do this or she used to do that, then she's going to be on butt with me. No, I'm genuinely telling somebody because I feel like if you're my sister, I should mm -hmm. be able to come to you. But some people do take it wrong. And I just wanted people to understand that. Talking to my husband, you know, that had came off the COVID mm -hmm. lockdown. And then he made me see it better. At the same time, I am spoiled. I am used to always get my way. And in life, it doesn't go like it. When you have a relationship mm -hmm. with somebody and you have a sisterhood with somebody, you got to see it from their point of view, too. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm so used to seeing it from just my point of view. Like, it's going to go Kelly's way or no way. And that's why he came up with the Kelly money way. He felt like, mm -hmm. you're not always going to get your way. You know? Sit down and talk to people. Mm -hmm. People don't know if you don't tell them. If you just got it in your head and you creating out, creating all this stuff in your head, then you looking real crazy because they don't know about mm -hmm. it. But when you explain to somebody how you're feeling, what you're feeling, what you're going through, and maybe the situation could turn out different. So that's kind of where I'm at now. And mm -hmm. that's why that birthday came around. I was like, I'm going to pop up at the birthday. He's like, well, why wouldn't you? Because you, you feeling some type of way about something that has something right. to be outside of the birthday. If you love people, you show up and you show out. So that's what I did. And I feel better now about the situation. You know, I talked to, like I said, I talked to Wet one-on-one. -on -one, mm -hmm. And I do know that he's going through his own personal issues. So at the same time, me going through my own personal issues, I have to understand that he he's going through his too. Mm -hmm. So sometimes call Wet and check up on Wet. See how Wet's doing. See if Wet's just having a good day or a bad day. See if... Uh, Keys is uh, feeling bad from surgery or whatever the, you know, whatever's going on. Mm -hmm. Try to think of other people more than yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I learned during this journey. And that's why I'm not going to give up in this group. I'm not going to give up on life's love because I know. 
Well, I'm, I'm glad that you said y'all. that. I'm glad you said that because I really wanted to know what was going on. Because after Gatlinburg, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, we like, what the fuck? Well, I talked to you in Gatlinburg. And I told you I didn't like the first episode. And which I was cool. But then I didn't, I didn't know it got to that magnitude. Though. Yeah, I talked to you and uh Yeah, I remember Monet. that. But I didn't know it got bigger yeah, that, than that. That's I, didn't, what I, I, I thought didn't it was know. just, you know, because. No, it got there. But then I felt like um, one of our producers. And what you know it. But okay. one of our producers, I felt like, was defensive about the whole situation. And I know, I didn't want to, I didn't feel comfortable. Addressing a man. Addressing a man. I've already did that with a man before. And my husband's in jail. Mm-hmm. My husband has been put in jail because of me telling him about me having to address a man. And I don't want that for my husband mm-hmm. no more. And I really, I ain't just thinking for just me. I'm thinking for me and three kids and a husband. Mm-hmm. A husband that is dangerous, you know, to people on the outside, mm-hmm. on the street. Right. And I don't want us to feel like we got to be aggressive to people that we we so-called love and we're working with. Mm-hmm. At the same time, why are you on the defense? If I, if I address you about something that me and you talked about, why are you defensive? Why are you having an issue? Why do you feel some type of way because I'm coming to you? So I didn't feel comfortable no more. Mm-hmm. I felt like, let me just leave this group because... Really, he's doing too much. Well, next time, don't leave the group. Talk to your sisters. Right, and I asked you several times, <coughs> and I even said, do you want to talk to him in a private setting? Where's just me and you? Yeah, I didn't want to at the time because okay. I was seeing red. And you know, you're a Pisces. Mm-hmm. When you're seeing red, you're seeing red. Mm-hmm. I know that y'all are all cool, and I know I was once cool, too, at this point, mm-hmm. then, at this time. I felt like I was cool, too, but at the same time, why am I dressing a man? Why did he feel, I mean, and then, like, our last meeting before this. He still got on defense where he felt like he had to defend a few people. And why do you got to be defensive Who's this me? man? Because we could probably relate. I mean, I, I mean. And, I, and the most important thing is you, me and Wet bring you in this group. And I've known you since you was a kid. Right. So, fuck having to deal with the man. Right. I'm going to fuck the wives group. Mm-hmm. From me to you, if it was something that made you uncomfortable, it was my responsibility yeah. or Wet's responsibility. No, you're a woman, her. though. And I could have told Wet, but I, like I said, I had already talked to Wet. And I knew that Wet was already, I didn't know about his sickness. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know Wet was already going through some stuff. And I was just, like, over it at that point. And I, me, personally, I don't know how you do it as a Pisces, but I shut down. I shut I down mean, because if I if I ain't fighting, I'm shutting down. Yeah. I shut I'm down after I've tried them. Yeah, after, I try and I'm going to try. I didn't try with I, you. I admit, mm-hmm. I admit that. Mm-hmm. And that's why I, my anger really wasn't towards you. It was towards the fact that, damn, I feel like I'm getting played because you told me one thing when we and you had a conversation, but now you're getting defensive because I'm coming to you and telling you about yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, you should never did it. Mm-hmm. You should have been real and been like, yeah, we was going to earn it anyway because I had the conversation before they even heard it. And then I see you earn it anyway. Like... I'm a beauty influencer on Instagram, and that's how I get my following. That's how my following stay with me. That's how my views, my whatever. That's how I get my you're first paycheck on Instagram. I'm protecting my brand, the Kelly Bundy Way LLC. And you're not giving a fuck because you want them views because you know that, oh, Kelly's following ain't going to follow if Kelly's not promoting. So why wouldn't you want to make sure that all of us look the way we want to look? Mm-hmm. Then if I want to come in there with purple hair and purple lipstick with purple eyeliner, then that's one thing. But if I tell you, like, I don't feel comfortable, you tell me, like, I'm not going to put you on it like that. I'm just going to really get your voice. And then I see myself on earth looking crazy. I'm feeling some type of way. Mm-hmm. Did you not have the conversation with the team? Yeah, I had a conversation with the team. But we decided that you weren't in this episode that much. So the fuck what? So what if I wasn't in that episode that much? I just wasn't going to be on that fucking episode is the way I felt at the time. But I still, I mean, I get it. I I still feel like, because see, I didn't know, I knew some of it, of course. Mm We talked about it. Mm -hmm. But in debt, I didn't know what you're saying now. So I feel like had we talked about this or I knew this, I would have jumped to your defense Mm -hmm. no matter who the fuck it was. Mm -hmm. Or my husband's going to jump to your defense. He's going to defend any of y'all. And it's important to him because he feels like I brought y'all together for this. Mm -hmm. So he's going to defend y'all. He has defended y'all for those for those very reasons, mm-hmm. believe it or not. And uh, I just think that, like I said, I shut down, definitely. I do. But I'm a big communicator. I'm I'm already going to overthink shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, not big on communicating. I'm working on it. Mm-hmm. I am. Mm-hmm. I admit, I'm working on it. Mm-hmm. But I'm not big. I'm not one of the people that's going to lie and say, yeah, I'm, I'm this... I'm not. Right. See, I'm and just okay. I'm glad that you can even yeah. admit that. I'm not. I'm, that. I'm a more of a shut down because I feel like Dang, and then I ain't feel comfortable, you know, going and telling my brothers. I didn't feel for a long time, for like two months, I didn't feel comfortable even telling my husband before he came home. Like, 
Girl, I hate that you even let that go yeah, on for that too. long because yeah. we could have definitely had a conversation. We, me, Nip you, in the butt even immediately. connected outside of yeah, the group. we, we were talking each a whole other. Lot. We were. Yeah, and then I didn't want to reach out because that wasn't my business. You know, I wanted to stay out of it. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, she'll hit me up when she wants to. You didn't hit me up, so I just figured I'll leave it at that. But don't ever feel like that you can't come and talk to us about something, even though you may feel uncomfortable. But that's what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? Just to, mm -hmm. even if you're, I don't even know how to even say what it is I'm trying to say, but you can talk to me. You can talk to Rihanna. You can talk to Keys, Tanisha, even Paula. Like, call, hit us up. That's what this is for. And you brought so much to the table in the beginning. So I was shocked. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is going that, on? That had me furious. It did. It had me furious because if I tell my brothers and they decide they're going to go another route, yeah. then I look crazy. Yeah. If I tell my husband, he he's pissed. Mm -hmm. He's going to go all out. But that's why he's still on the positive note because I've still kept it positive so much. It's still a lot of what the conversation that I had with this person, it didn't go there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in disbelief that you even trying to play me like this because I'm not that bitch that you're going to play with. At the same time, it's the professional setting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So in the future, that's the time to play. I'm not gonna be the one. First off, I'm already on Facebook fighting. I'm already on Facebook. I'm on YouTube fighting. I'm already in all on all these different and platforms. And the person like, and now I'm not third no more. Mm -hmm. So why would I get on the wives a little bit? Everybody's been on a positive note, and then I get to acting crazy, get to post the crazy same shit. shit. I was saying, I said this ain't the Kelly that I see right now. Like that, that's <laughs> bothering me. It really is because. When I reached out to you, like I said, I'm I'm big on communication. If I really fuck with you, I'm going to try to get to the bottom of how you're mm -hmm. feeling. And that's one of my things that I do would have given so much of myself to mm -hmm. everybody. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't fuck, I have people that I don't fuck with, I didn't see no future with, and I just walked away from. And to this day, you know, they'll walk up to me, they'll speak, they'll wonder what... You just ain't my speed. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have no beef with you. I you, and, it, and it wasn't worth me communicating. But I tried with you. And you know I did. Like, I was like... It was at a point when I said, fuck the wives of Louisville Kelly. This is me talking to you. Like, what? You know what I mean? And it's like everything I said, you it, you was just... It, it was like I couldn't I was get angry. through. But I that's why I'm saying, like, why couldn't we... You were saying everything to me but what you're saying right now. Mm -hmm. And had I known that, like I said, production's production and wives of Louisville is wives of Louisville. And we could have addressed that and been moved past it. And we could probably lay on some it. shit that you yeah. and and That's you know, the main thing. Talking about. Well, I know you related because you even spoke on something before I even said anything. Really? You were at my birthday that night and we talked. I mean, well, you, I think, I don't know who you were talking with, but you weren't talking to me. I was drunk. <laughs> but you spoke on a situation I was like... Girl, that should have been She's your speaking for me, but, way to open the door. But no, like I said, my family was there. And like well, I had uh, friends there. Private, I private. still didn't feel comfortable with even opening up a wife. Like my mama said, she said, it's she's like, what the hell's going on? Like, mm -hmm. I don't see you being posted. I don't, right. see, I don't see you posting them. Like, what's going on? Right. I didn't feel comfortable because you just never know when the right time is to say something mm -hmm. on a certain situation. Because I'm telling them, like, it's positive. It's this. Oh, my God. My granny's like, I'm so proud of you. She's on her dying deathbed. And mm -hmm. I, I'm wanting to make this person happy. Right. My husband's coming home from the feds, but he's dealing with a caseworker. And I, you think I want to take this to him and say, Yeah, that's even more stress. This right. is this, that, and the other. And he already knows me as, as the spoiled bread that he's spoiled. Mm -hmm. But he knows me as this person that always wants to get her way. I never wanted to turn a good aura into something that was so bad. Yeah. Because, like I told, I did tell my sister, like, it, it isn't that. But this is the situation, and where do I go from there? Yeah. All these positive people around me telling me this is this, that, and the other, and how, this is how you should feel, this is who you should go to, I still didn't feel comfortable. Yeah. And that's fair. That's fair. I still didn't feel comfortable. That's I felt fair. angry. I that's felt fair. angry. And I no longer want to hear this person talk. I want to hear, hear this person speak. I want. I no longer want to work with this person. I really want to get them, get the head beat up and beat mm -hmm. in. And it's just like, that ain't even me no more. Yeah, yeah. You didn't want nobody to take you. There. Uh, it ain't even me. So, Kelly Bundy, you know, get up, pack your bags, and, you know, get out of the group and rejuvenate. Mm -hmm. Hibernate and, and then rejuvenate. That for you. We, we at least wanted you to communicate, but now I understand it. I get it. And I wasn't finna ask because I'm not that type of person but to I, be in anybody's business unless you put me in the business. You and know I will I mean? say, I don't know if I told Tanisha or Wet, but I know they can go back in their messages. I know I told one of them that my husband's not home. It's These are my words. Mm -hmm. This is you. 
I said, mm-hmm. yeah, I said, my husband's not home. Mm-hmm. So I don't have that protection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My brothers don't think clearly. Yeah. They, they really don't think clearly. And I don't, this ain't that. You know, they decide, oh, I'm going to just go up and I'm going to do this. And I, it's not that. Mm-hmm. And I just said, like, I don't feel that protection because I didn't open it up. I didn't open up. I just completely shut down. I, I left the group. That. I stopped talking about it. I, it you did what was best for you for in that best moment. For me. Mm-hmm. Because when you know yourself, too, like, you don't always want to be in that negative light all the time. Mm-hmm. You don't always want people to be like, oh, she's full of drama. When really, I felt played. And then I come to you and I just want to speak to you about it. And you just like, oh, you oh, you exaggerating. It ain't that big of a deal. Like, who cares? Like, so what? We put it on our like. And see, that's, like she said, you don't know what communicating could have done because mm-hmm. we could have related. Mm-hmm. And uh, most importantly, it's wives of Louisville. And then it's anybody else. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm saying, had I known this, it would have been nipped in the bud and addressed immediately. Mm-hmm. Because... This is who we are. This is us. This is our shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And we're going to handle things accordingly. Yeah. I felt like we weren't getting anywhere. You know what I'm saying? She I wasn't I, really I, telling you everything. I wasn't yeah. saying everything yeah. because I didn't feel... I didn't feel... I'm not, I'm not going to say I didn't feel comfortable. I don't know what the correct word is because I know I felt comfortable. Mm-hmm. But I was angry. And, mm-hmm. I, and I was also scared that I was really going to... I don't know what the fuck I was scared yeah. of. I don't, it was so many things running through my mind mm-hmm. at the time, and I'm just like, that's understandable. But there's love here, and Definitely. we ain't doing nothing but trying to create something wonderful to feed our kids and grandkids in the future. You know and have an outlet yeah. outside of not just our yeah. kids and our husband, but outside of what we know. Outside mm-hmm. of I have just like you have your sisters. Like I said, I've been around her since I was, and I'm trying to, we're really like Chrissy. I have two or mm-hmm. three other friends that our mothers was friends, and we been raised together, mm-hmm. literally. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to step outside of my familiarness, what I know, and, and you don't know what you will learn outside of that. You know what I'm saying? We all naturally just run to our comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? And and I guess it, it I can understand it being difficult to a new group of women you know, especially if you trying to change. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can see it being difficult just opening up. But that's why I, I guess I took it so offensively. Because I'm like, Kelly, this is me. You know what I'm saying? If nothing else, like, you know me. You know what I'm saying? You know my family. You know my sister has dealt with things. And I've never let that affect it, me and your relationship. Because mm-hmm. I'm just that. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I took it personal. Like, what, what the hell? Like... And, and then some of the things you were saying, I'm like, I feel like it too. Like, we can talk about this. But I guess not knowing how you really felt, I didn't know what to think. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't know. But now I know. But I do need y'all to understand that outside of this club, Wives of Louisville is us. And this th- anything outside of this club will be handled and has been handled. Well, this was good. Keys, you got something to say? You know, I know, work. Keys. Crickets. <laughs> no. You don't have not one thing to say. I don't. What? What y'all want to say? How you feeling? Like, do you like the club? <laughs> do, you do you like what we're doing? Do you want to be a part of it? Do you want to move forward? I'm here. <laughs> Shit. I'm, I'm here. I, I come to everyone unless I'm out of town. Y'all Girl. I'm out of town all the time. <laughs> if I ain't out of town, I, what? Last three weekends I've been out of town. Yeah. Been at surgery. And I'm not, I mean, if I can't make it, I'm going to let y'all how know. Do you, I'm going to ask you this. How do you feel about Dealing with I mean, now that we all getting together, this is something new. We ain't been right. doing this. Exactly. So I, mean, right. you know, right. I mean, I'm willing to see what it's going to be. That's what I was going to ask. So. That's what I was going to ask. How do you feel about stepping out of your comfort zone? I already have. Right. Well, okay. Y'all don't think so? <laughs> yeah. But I still think you got one foot in, one foot out. It's like your sisters, like I said, that's your comfort zone. I have this, surprisingly, I have the same thing. But I just don't talk to y'all about my personal business. That's it. Right. You don't have to. You don't I mean, that's to. it. Other than that, I'm willing. I come. Whatever right. I chop. Right. Whatever y'all want to do, I'm willing. But you definitely don't get. But I mean, I just don't call y'all like. Going through this. I mean, we don't right. have that. Girl, if I see yet. you post right. something, I'll be like, Keith, well, I've done that one time, but still. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I'll be like, thanks. Like, I really yeah. don't. I mean. But, but that's what I just said, too. Like, me and Wet, just, I keep bringing him up because we both Pisces, same day, and we both do that. I got that bad, too. I won't open up about I don't. Him. I don't open up to, I mean, to nobody. I, get I like can that. be Even sitting my there crying. Even my sister me yeah. up. And I, I got that right. to the phone, and I just, I mean, that's just how I am. I'll be sitting there crying. I will shut down. And then I'll be texting Chastity. 
or whoever. I, mean, I, I can be crying. Be to me and I'm just looking at him. Yeah. I just, I'm just, I just get quiet. But that's so dope. Get quiet and I, I like shut down. Like some people can express turns. themselves. I can't. Yeah. I, yeah. It's hard. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, it's my, my even my husband to tell y'all he's pulling stuff out yeah, this, of me. I'm, 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 I'm trying, definitely trying. that way. But it's dope that all of y'all have a comfort zone because I don't have my no comfort zone. Me, mm-hmm. my husband, my kids, that's mine. That's that, Anything that's outside like of that, yeah. I don't Yeah, but that's, that's but I don't have but like a click uh, yeah. yeah, and I do yeah, and that's man. what this is I know. That's why I said I'll be from a part of this because we don't have I don't have a I don't hey, I can probably count on one hand how many people that I deal with. Yeah, seriously. And it's too. mainly my husband, so mm-hmm. outside of it, that's why I really wanted to be a part of this because it's stuff that I be going through my mind like Oh my God! I can't be the only person that's going yeah, through this stuff. Seriously. Like, I can't sort my emotions sometimes, and it's I just know. like I really need to have mm-hmm. a outlet. group of women, an outlet to really get this out of my chest sometimes. Because yes. as much as I can talk to my husband, sometimes he can say one thing: mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. want to hear your shit right now. Yeah. This is not what I want to do. Not what I need to do to shut up and just listen. Not and even though I do have my group with my sister, like I can call them boo crying. They can listen. I'll feel much better and I'll listen. But sometimes they just may let me vent. But they nobody's married in that group. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Person. So, oh, so yeah. this is good for you. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, at the same time, that's why I say, yeah, I'm willing to give it a try because I could be like, I got a group. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Right. 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 And that's my thing. That's what I even mentioned to you. Like I have my close family and I have those friends that I grew up with. Literally, like they gonna know my asthma, they gonna know what I'm allergic to, they gonna know what foods I like, they gonna know about my kids, they gonna know everything. Mm -hmm. But I just still feel like, you know, uh, (laughs) it feels good to have, you know, people around to step outside of that comfort zone, help you get through certain things. And like I said, I be having the worst day. The year that was bad for me that even made me want to create this was bad. Like, I, I just realized I could have really been, like, going through depression and didn't even know because I was so operated to get up and get the kids right and get wet right and do the house and go to work and come back and do it all over again. And I just would be by myself and be unhappy. Mm-hmm. And I think that um, I don't tell people what I go through. Now, I'm an open book. Y'all know it. I, mm-hmm. I don't, uh, if I'm broke, I'm going to say it. If I'm unhappy, I'm going to say it. I, I ain't got no shame in my game because I'm just a non-judgmental person. I just, I know everybody's human and everybody goes through shit, but I have a problem with feeling like I'm hindering people if I tell them my issue. So I just don't. But um, outside of that, I definitely think this meeting was needed. Yes. We know who kind of needs what, who yeah. to reach out to personally, where to go forward, and what we need to do. And like I said, we definitely need to meet more with our club aspect and, and enjoy and even with the club I never say that outsiders can't come I always say if uh, Mike's your comfort zone if Tammy's your comfort zone if Lisa's your mm-hmm. bring them and, and see what happens is they see you in a different light and then they'll push you mm-hmm. to keep doing it and trying it because I need it sometimes Wet always says you went to such and such as I'm proud of you that was good that's a step you need that sound to, like you know what I'm saying so when you bring your comfort zone sometimes to tag along sometimes they see you in a different light and they push you to keep going that's why I never say certain people can't come you know what I'm saying so just going forward I think we need to uh, keep moving forward with our club and then y'all know that we wanted to plan the, another trip to Gatlinburg where everybody can go and redo it over I hope it's a better experience for you now that I know what's what um and then the weather will be better, and we can get out. And, yeah, and maybe we can change. do you know something this time. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had. Okay. But, um, yeah, I think that this was a good productive meeting, and uh, you know, we, we know good. what to do. Well, I'm forward. glad you're back. I am. I'm glad to understand yeah. and, and get the layers down and understand what was going go. on. Yeah. I felt like I couldn't be tentative to you because I didn't know or understand what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> so... And it's gonna be another time that y'all don't don't know anything either, cause I'm gonna shut yeah, down. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Same with down. me. Even if it it, well, it can be know. a similar situation, and I up. might shut down. So don't have me back to the Instagram group, okay? The text, you know, I, I'm still on the text. I didn't leave the text, but it's for the wives and the wives only. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we got it. But mm-hmm. yeah, I'm I'm glad y'all came and we got some good things accomplished today. Yes, we did. All righty. Being the germ. No. <laughs> oh, I'm a whole wife, yeah.